Does Angel Reese have the most NIL deals? Yes. She has the most deals of any college women's or men's basketball players. She has 17 different brand partnerships. They all range of different things like it's Coach Bags, Amazon, Wingstop, Raisin Cane. They projected that this season she made $392,000. That was before they won the championship game. So I just know now she's going to get a big bag, run it up. And if they thought... She had a lot before, it's gonna be nuts after. Oh man, so Angel Reese has recently became um, uh, an overnight celebrity, even though she worked her ass off for it. But the thing about it is, the reason why she's become an overnight celebrity is because of the sport that she plays. Women's basketball is very unique in comparison to NBA basketball, where you can have a huge recruit that's a star from high school, and then they get to college, and they still a star, already a star, and then they get to the NBA, and they're even a bigger star. That doesn't happen too often for ladies on the road to the WNBA where you really don't hear from them unless they dunking or some shit. They dunking, then you probably gonna hear from the ass. But Angel Reese has been so polarizing, so polarizing that her star status has risen faster than many other WNBA prospects that we've seen in the past. But what makes her situation unique is this is the first time we've had a situation with NIL. That's a system with college athletes being able to be paid by the name, image, and likeness. So brand deals, promos, and shit like that, advertisements, endorsements, that's how they're getting their bread. And it plays perfect for someone like Angel Reese. So that brings me to say this right here. When asked about her WNBA future, Angel Reese says, I'm in no rush. I'm making more money than some in the league. And <laughs> that's a big thing right there. That's a big thing. And, and, and duh, she is the most talked about woman athlete as of now. She is. She is. And why she's being talked about is because of controversy. Controversy sells. And I like this for her or athletes like this because with this NIL shit, you can go ahead and capitalize off of whatever attention going on in your life. As long as you don't go too far off the deep end, you can go ahead and capitalize off your face being seen and talked about. And they ain't buzzing, you can go and get some bags. Whereas before, a college athlete's star status was rising like crazy and everyone else making so much money off them. But if they got a red penny, a red cent, they can lose their scholarships, they can have a war strike the way just shunned for trying to make money off of their hard work them building a the brand it was the stupidest shit if you ask me now this is being reported um this says allegedly lsu star angel reese has 17 nil deals totaling 392 thousand dollars per year she now has most nil deals out of any college basketball player both male and female God damn, she getting the bag. And to bring it back to what she said, man, she making more money than some in the league. And that's important. That's important. One, because it helps elevate the game of um, um, women's college basketball in particular. Because you have stars that are going to be returning to play their full four years. She can stay and develop her game and continue rising her status in the meantime. Hopefully, the WNBA learns how to market better. Because obviously, companies understand that this girl name is buzzing. People want to see her face. And she's a star. She's polarizing. Therefore, some people are just going to want to tune in just to see her lose. Within the next couple of years, the WNBA has two stars coming in, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. I think Caitlin Clark's game will translate more over easier to the WNBA. Angel Reese, she has to work on her jump shot more. That's if she wants to compete with the Aja Wilson. Because Aja Wilson has that spot solidified as that stretch four type in the WNBA. But if you come in as a star, hopefully they give you your touches. I mean, the money doesn't incentivize them to do that, but hopefully she gets the touches and she becomes a star. But Caitlin Clark is for sure gonna be that. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here, Doja Boy Stacy. Yo. <laughs>